today i am out here at cherry creek reservoir i'm fishing with brian today you've seen him on some of the other fly fishing videos and today we're going to use jigging wraps and blade baits out here at cherry creek before i could get the camera on we actually already hooked into one which i'll show you in just a second quickly i wanted to highlight a product that we're going to be reviewing today now i've had these for a little bit over a year and uh, i'm pretty excited to give them a shot uh, today we're going to be trying bait cloud bait cloud is a all natural biodegradable fish attractant they come in the shape of a ball kind of like a bath bomb and uh, what you do is you go ahead and you throw this out on your spot and it's supposed to create a lot more action it puts off a good scent um, it has a fizzing kind of sensation to it and the fish really come after those bubbles so we're gonna fish this spot for the same amount of time without it then we're gonna toss this in and we're gonna see if it changes our success rate so what I think I'm gonna do here in a minute is put out a marker buoy and we're gonna fish right around that marker buoy where we've marked fish, try to pick up a couple. And then I'm gonna go back over it after, you know, maybe 10 minutes or so, drop one of these down. Um, again, we have walleye scent and we have shad scent. Once we have these down in the water, maybe it'll change our luck. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna be putting back all of the fish that I catch with the bait cloud. That is the plan. Bait cloud, test, take one. The 15 inch walleye, but man, they are thick in here. Um, it's usually a keeper in other lakes. Here it's 18, so we're going to let this guy go. Woo! He popped off. Saw that happen. Alright, so that's two fish on this spot and two casts. The jigging wrap. Got something? Yeah, smacked myself in the face. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to see, watch you, and I smacked myself in the face. Oh, oh he went down yeah. real quick and then came back up and just like spit it out. Ah, oh, he got off right at the boat. That's why you need a net, guys. All right, third fish, three casts. And I kind of let it fall. Maybe I can get my net. Oh, damn, I didn't bring my net. That one was a little bit better. He smoked it that time. All right, guys, so we got 10 minutes in on this spot. We've caught four fish out of five hits. And uh, right now I'm just cruising right over that spot, seeing if we see any fish. Then we're gonna go right back over it, drop down a marker buoy and the bait cloud right next to it. Big cluster of bait fish right here. So that makes sense as to why they're eating. And then there's some fish right there underneath them. So I think based on that, pretty good spot to deploy our bait cloud. Here's the walleye scent. That's what's gonna be going down. And right now we're over the fish. So I'm gonna take both of these and drop them out. Do marker buoy first. Bait cloud right next to it. Yeah, I got the camera. <laughs> Four bait cloud deployment, we caught five fish, four of which were landed. Five casts, zero fish with bait cloud. We'll keep trying it though. Dude, 
crazy to me that we haven't picked up a fish. So while Brian keeps trying that jig and wrap on this bait cloud structure, since I haven't caught a fish yet, I'm gonna switch over to this little Johnson Thin Fisher blade bait. Um, it looks a little bit more like a minnow. It's a little bit smaller and I'm gonna give it try to maybe make it a little more subtle and go right through that same hole and see if that changes the action. Ooh, that's a good one. That's an 18, keep him in the water. Keep him in the water. Okay, we're gonna try to boat flip this big guy. Oh! Oh, he took the lure. He took the lure. <laughs> Frustration to the maximum. Okay, rule number one, don't be stupid like me and forget your net at home. Or that's gonna happen with an 18 inch walleye. So. We hadn't caught as many fish, but we caught a good fish. So we're gonna keep fishing this structure. We kind of changed up our angle. We're gonna hit it a couple more times and uh, see what happens. I'm gonna have to try to go find a hotter spot. Alright guys, we just got to spot number two. We found some fish on this long flat. So we're gonna start casting some baits again. I think we're gonna do a similar thing. Cast the jig and wraps and blade baits, see if we can pick up some fish and then toss in a uh, bait cloud. Uh, this time we'll do the shad scent and see if it changes our luck. Still have your bait? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Got this little guy to jig and wrap just now off a little flat. Seems like they're behind us, so we know which way to cast now. The boat flip. A little younger year class walleye. Caught him on a jig and wrap, and we go back. All right guys, we just got to the last spot. We're gonna get off just about maybe 10 o'clock. It's 9.20 right now. I'm gonna throw three of these shad bait balls just kind of on this flat that we're on here. Oh, Snag. All right guys, so overall today, uh, not so great with the bait cloud. Um, again, we had the shad scent, if you can see that, and we had the walleye scent. So, I mean, I wouldn't pay 10 bucks for them anymore. I tried them out, I got three left, so I think what I'm gonna end up doing is uh, probably using them at night one time when I go night fishing for walleye and see if I can catch them then. Not my number one choice, just my opinion. Uh, we caught more fish without it and I think at this point it would be just a waste of money to spend any more on it. So overall good day. We uh, boated a, a bucket full. We we're gonna turn it in for the day and thanks for watching Seal Fish Bro. We'll see you next time. We're gonna get some uh, cool videos coming up here soon of more night fishing from the boat and then also uh, upcoming maybe some lake trout fishing and pike fishing and uh, some of those big rainbows. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not a subscriber already, go ahead and click this button on the right and help us reach a thousand subs. And when we do, I'm definitely gonna be fishing in a T-Rex costume. You also have access to subscriber giveaways and I try to reply to any comments you post below the videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on CO Fish Bro.